Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. This week it's all about chickens. Um, as I explained before, my pre-order for the chickens didn't arrive until just a couple of days ago. It's just caused havoc. So now we're nearly at the end of celebration and luckily these will still be available for sale up until the end of June. So today I'm going to look at the Hay Chick one. This is the card we'll be making. It's an angled card. And then when you open, there's a um, little pop-up here with the chicken coop. Now, if you follow me, you would have seen my video on Top Tips Tuesday on my Stamp With Lane Facebook page. And I showed you how I put all the stamps from both sets onto the Stamparatus and then <coughs> die cut them all at the same time. So I used the stamp and seal to... Um, keep my dies together so especially if you've got lots of little dies like this individual ones you can keep them all together and stick them on your cardstock to make it easier I've already pre-cut these to save time these are the dies from the chick dies so you've got the link fence the chicken coop and um, some corn the, the ear of the corn and also the husks. Um, this die cuts out this image here. <clears throat> this one cuts out that one. Um, the chicken with the funny hair and also this nice fat hen. Um, you've also got the sign boards and a tree stump and also some eggs. In fact, there are 19 dies in all, um, and some of the die obviously don't fit the images. Um, the only images it fits out of the 19 dies are these four um, chicken, three chickens and an egg. To make the card, you start off with a card base that's eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighth inches. In metric, that's 21 centimeters by 14.85, and you. Um, fold it in half. To create this angle pop-up um, you have to mark the card. So this the card is a uh, landscape with a fold at the top okay so you want to measure three and a half inches along here uh, on the fold of the card and then on the left hand side you want to measure two and a half inch okay so there's a mark here and a mark there so then bring your scoreboard in now you want to find the mark at the three and a half inch mark and the two and a half inch mark and the scoreboard on my scoreboard at the six inch mark I've used a chalk marker to um, highlight that groove all the way down. So now I will line up the three and a half inch mark on the fold with the two and a half inch mark on the short side and score in a straight line along that six inch groove. Okay and then flip it over and do the same And then that's where you have your angle fold. Now take the inside of your card. So this is the five and a half by three and three quarter inch pieces. Just take one of them to um, just gauge. So you want that the two sides equidistant from each other um, and this one a quarter of an inch so it, it takes into account for the border at the top too um, and then if you turn it over and flip it and mark it along there when we cut it it will all become clear put these two together and make sure they're aligned and then put this on your trimmer and cut through both pieces of cardstock. 
keep these you need it this is just perfect for the inside of your card so let's glue these two pieces down now you want to cut these pieces for these two triangular bits here mat layers for there and you can see that this is the same size as that okay so you need to cut it from this right angle here so if we place that on top and then find the margin <clears throat> we want it along the same line as this okay so that's where it should go so you want to cut that bit off so put the straight edge along there and cut then you're ready to glue this bit now you've done the inside you want to do the card front so do the same thing um, <clears throat> but at the top of the card to the fold leaving a quarter inch gap at the bottom okay make sure these sides are equidistant flip it over and then just draw a line and that's where you cut and then you have the perfect angle for your card front so now I want to glue this to my card front at the same time as well lie that flat So now we've got our card bases and layers all glued down. I'll run through the other items you need to make the card. We need Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, Granny Apple Green and Mango Melody. And in the blends we need Dark Pumpkin Pie and Mango Melody. Also Cinnamon Cider. The blender brushes. And of course we need Granny Apple Green Daffodil Delight, Basic uh, Smoky Slate, sorry, and Crumb Cake um, to die cut the chicken coop, the sign, um, the corn, and the chain link fence. I've already pre die cut my chain link fence, the corn stalk, the husk, need two of those and two of the ears of corn. I also need these three chickens, the chicken coop and the sign. So let's get assembling. Um, I need to put the ears of corn together, marry it up with the husk. Bring in the Mango Melody and take off the excess ink and then just do it straight up and down here to create the ground followed by the Granny Apple Green Turn that upside down Just want a hint of colour not too much um, self-adhesive sheet on the back of this fencing. So I'm going to put the chain link fence against the green background. Apply adhesive on the corn stalk. Attach the ears of corn to the plant. Now I've got a bit of colouring to do. Um, I'll do him in uh, mango melody and pumpkin pie this one in cinnamon cider and oh I need smoky slate
now we want to glue uh, the house on and we want to make sure that it's not on the fold so you only want to put glue on this side of the Ground the chicken and the sign. Stamp the sentiment. Have a happy day with Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Pop the chicken on dimensionals for the front of the card whoops and then stamp a chick before I go I'll show you some of the other things that I did a chicken coop and there's grains um, that's in the dies and the eggs as well this one I incorporated the tree stump. This is from the Whimsy dies which don't actually cut out anything but it does leave an impression. And the inside I've just got the signpost. And this one is all the three chickens um, and the stitch square dies. And inside I've just got him peeking round the corner. So those are some other ideas you can make using this st same stamp set. This is today's card, that's the inside and that's the front. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Join me again this Friday uh, when I work on the Hey Birthday Chick dies. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon, bye.